If there's lightning around, stay inside your home, stay inside your car. Touch no metal inside or outside of the car. Just a real simple instruction, stay inside. And if you're trapped in that car, don't touch the metal. If there's hail, you know there's gonna be hail, stay home. If in your car and there's large hail, stay in your car. I've talked to people that jumped out and were nearly killed by huge hail. If you're in your vehicle and there's a tornado in sight, it's coming directly towards you, I'm the tornado, okay? Coming right towards you. It looks like it's not moving, but I'm getting larger and larger. That means it's moving directly towards you. If you have time, you look right at the tornado. And you say, okay, I'm gonna either go left or right. And if you have time to do that, that's what you do. You may not wanna run that way because it might be making really, really fast speed and can catch you. If there are strong, straight winds, pretty simple. Stay away from the windows. It's pretty easy, isn't it? During a tornado warning, the safest place is usually a safe room, cellar, or basement. If you don't have one of those locations to shelter in, go to a previously selected storm shelter if there is time. Key words, key phrase, if there is time. If not, go to a small interior room, closet, bathroom, middle part of the house, helmet, shed resistant goggles, long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes. Let's say an EF4. As a, as a three second wind gust between 166 and 200 miles per hour. And that always caused loss of the roof and all the walls except a few maybe interior rooms that should be expected. An EF5 produces a three second wind gust over 200 miles per hour. We've had them over 300 miles per hour and they have the potential to blow your entire home away. They shear off the pipes, the walls, the bathtub, everything's gone. So you have to have a plan, plan ahead. In a flash flood, a lot of people die in flash floods. First of all, when you hear about it, if necessary, move to a higher location. And never, and you hear this all your life, never drive into water running across the road. The road may not be there. It's that easy. Now factors that may affect your severe weather actions, either consciously or otherwise, you or friends of family have been involved in a fairly recent tornado, major tornado event, maybe fairly recent major tornado event in your general area, maybe a recent major tornado in your area with injuries and deaths, drownings, asphyxiation. Two days in a row of tornado activity in your general area might affect your decision making because you've been watching it, you're fearful of it. Tornado activity in your general area with injuries and deaths, hyper excited media field reports, coverage by storm chasers, not all of them, some were great, but some of that is too hyper. Incorrect media information, it happens. Incorrect media information and recommendations from that never drive into a storm, never run from the storm. And then non-stop, non-com media broadcast. There's a lot of good ones. There's some that are just totally out of control. And a panicky radio or television broadcast just may really affect what you're going to do. You may act irrationally, plan ahead. And live tornado video, yeah, it's fascinating to watch, but don't stand there until the tornado is coming down the street. That has happened to people. Remember, the voice you hear may not be that of a qualified severe meteorologist on radio or television. Keep that in mind. Check out the sources you use.